anthropology home outlet. The anthropology mirror. Oh my gosh. I think I live here now. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Can't believe it, can't believe it. I think this is like my fourth or fifth vlog. I feel as though like, look out vlog squad. Whoever the big vloggers are, like coming for your brand. And I'm so excited that you guys are loving these videos so much. Honestly, that's why I'm doing them. I'm not doing them for myself, I'm doing them for y'all. Anywho, where we left you in the last vlog was where we still are right now, which is Arizona. And interestingly, we were on our way to the airport right now, but then we realized we're not gonna make it. <laughs> so we decided to change our flight to tomorrow. We've been here hanging out with family and doing some work stuff. Actually, oh my gosh, we have to tell the people what we did last night. Yeah, a little mysterious Christmas gift from my brother and our sister-in-law. We actually came into town for this trip, not for work, but for family, because Chris's brother, Matt, and his wife, Nicole, were like, hey, we have this big surprise. It's really nice. We want to do an experience for the family instead of gifts for Christmas. And can you guys come to town? And we were like, um, yes, yes, Christmas. Yes, surprise. You have piqued our interest. So we came to Arizona and you guys, they rented out an entire movie theater just for our family. <gasps> what? Look, it's like a bank vault. What are we doing? We'll see, I guess. Are we going into a freezer? This looks like a freezer. Oh my gosh, how cool! Cool! Nicole. Oh my gosh! Oh, that's me oh, right no. there. That's, oh my goodness. This is awesome. And we just like got tons of food and drinks and it was honestly one of the coolest things I've ever experienced. It was really, really cool. It, I didn't even know something like that existed here. Either. It was so cool. And also, by the way. It was just like a secret room, wasn't it? Yeah, it was actually called the freezer. The freezer. Because it looked like you were walking into like an industrial restaurant sized freezer, like one of those ginormous ones. But then when they opened the freezer door, we walked into the kitchen portion of the movie theater. It had a private bathroom, which was great for all of us. I mean, it was just such a generous, thoughtful gift. It was so and nice. I don't know about you all, but I'm a big fan of experiences as gifts. I also like gifts. You like vacation. I like vacation. You like jewelry. I like jewelry. <laughs> but you've done some really amazing experiences for me. One of the first big gifts you got me was taking me to. Please. <laughs> when you took me to Belize, I just see the wheels turning. He's like. <laughs> Gave you a piece of paper with a picture of a car on it. <laughs> yeah, that was one year. He just put in an envelope, a picture of a car, and I was like, what is this? And he's like, you're a car. I'm like, he's, you guys, Chris is very over the top with gifts. Only for my wife. We love Everyone giving Everyone else will give socks. <laughs> Anyways, great night last night. We're still here in Arizona because we were gonna miss our flight anyways, so what the hell. Let's just stay here. And right now we're gonna head over to one of our renovation projects, which I don't think I've shown you, but that we're actually also doing with Chris's brother, Matt. It's almost, almost done. I don't think I showed you guys what it looked like. Oh, there's no bulb. <laughs> Ooh, okay. This is our first time ever doing this. I wish you guys could see a little better. Ooh, okay. These cabinets, you saw what they looked like before. 
we just painted them this amazing pistachio color and added handle pulls. There was no handle pulls before. This is not cheap. Like getting someone to professionally repaint cabinets like this is actually a big investment, but it's less expensive than doing new cabinetry, new countertop, the sink is the same. And then we did a new faucet. So this is like a really cool way to upgrade a kitchen without spending a ton, ton, ton of money. I am obsessed with this pistachio green. Here, let's set this guy down. All right, I'm just gonna say it. I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it. For me currently, this pistachio green is a neutral. People love a white oak. People also love like a white shaker. But if you don't wanna do new cabinets, this, my friends, it just looks awesome. And I also think it really stands the test of time. My mom has had a green kitchen island for over 20 years. Still looks like as good as it did the day she put it in. Let's go check out the rest of this place. I don't know if you can tell, but there's new floors all throughout. This is that dry bar. Actually, it's not a dry bar. It's a wet bar because it has a sink. The whole ceiling in here has been painted. We added these two ceiling fans blanking on each side. Fireplace has been painted. By the way, all the light pictures are from Amazon. So super affordable. And then let's go into the primary suite. We kept the carpet because a lot of people actually really like carpet. We added some new lighting and then here's the, the carpet was brand new. Yeah, yeah, the carpet was brand new. New light right here, but this bathroom, holy cow. We have to hang up the mirrors today, but Look at this new shower, which is so much better. And then get out of town. Oh my god. Remember gosh. this tub before? It was like in ground, like <laughs> spa tub. It was literally from 1975. Oh, nice this is amazing. Here's the weird thing to me about this tub. You would think this would have been very much more expensive than it was, right? And the contractor said we have very good water pressure that the next owner is going to be happy about. Let's okay. check. Oh, should we hop in really quick? That's great. I just think this looks so luxe. One of our big tips for people when they're renovating bathrooms, if you can take the tile all the way up to the ceiling, it just makes the shower feel so much bigger, so much better. Let's go check out the other, the other wing of the home. So this is a townhouse. It does have a small little backyard. Here's one of the bedrooms. Room. Do you think we could talk to God through this? I feel like Gold. that would, and then take me in the other bedroom. I is this the laundry be, room? I think this would be good as an office. What do you think? Yeah, this would be a great it's office. It's a tinier bedroom, oh. but no bulbs. No bulbs in the light fixture. Oh, this is nice. All we need here is the mirror hung. And then this is obviously original stained glass skylight in the shower. See guys, look at that. Look at that tile going all the way up to the ceiling. Makes the shower feel way bigger than it is. All in all, I feel like this project has come together very quickly. I believe we started renovation on this five weeks ago and it's pretty much done. actually really excited that we ended up getting stuck here in Phoenix because I just left Chris over at the house I just showed you around and I drove out probably like 45 minutes outside of Phoenix to sort of the middle of nowhere. I just drove through like a housing track and a construction zone to arrive at the Anthropology Home Outlet. I've never even been to an anthropology outlet for clothes in general. And I had no idea there even was an anthropology home outlet, but I saw it recently on TikTok. And so your girl did what was good. I carved out some time to drive to it. I think this town is called Gilbert. It's a suburb of Phoenix and I am dying to see what's inside. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm curious to see if the prices are actually good or if they're still really expensive. I don't know. Anyways, let's go inside. But wait, first I wanted to just show you what I was talking about when I said this place is in the middle of nowhere. This is just a bunch of open land. And then right here in the middle of what looks to be an industrial park is the Anthropology Home Outlet. Let's see if it's worth it. Just walked in the door. Hopefully you guys can hear me over this music. And I asked one of the sales associates, is everything in here on sale? And she said, yes, everything in here is typically around like 40% off. And what's wild is a lot of the stuff in the store is still being sold online at original prices. So this really is like heaven on earth. And out of all of the furniture outlets I've ever been to, just upon like walking in here, this is freaking legit. Let me show you. First off, look at this. When you first walk in, this is all just like sidebar, table, storage situations. This is an amazing price. 
for anything from anthropology because their stuff is so well made and also like so on trend. This is not stuff that feels out of date or like last season. This feels really current. This is something I'm definitely eyeing. I just love the mid-century details and the curves and then this marble, but it's not cheap, but definitely a lot less than what it would be online. So you just keep walking through the store. There's tons and tons of basically brand new furniture. Love, love this dining table, this oval dining table. $600. I mean, I know that's not like Goodwill prices. Hello, you guys are used to me like thrifting, but this quality is amazing. I also love this table. The base is so cool. Looks like this one is $799 and it's got the cool marble top and it just keeps going. This table's rad. Look at the base of that table and then over here, just tons of dining chairs. Over in the corner is all the patio furniture. I also, someday, cause you guys know I love outdoor spaces, mid-century. I'm obsessed with this fireplace, which I think probably goes outside. So cool. And then let me show you this. For sure, this is the most expensive thing I've seen in the whole store. This set of cabinets is a casual 10 grand, which makes me wonder like how much did it cost before? <laughs> Accent chair. Heaven. And again, usually when you go to outlets, everything is like picked over and kind of weird. This chair, I mean, this is current, you guys. Look at this chair. I want literally one of everything. Tons of rugs, a lot of really cool looking headboards. Okay, these are fun. I don't know if you can tell, but they're like a sagey greeny color. Also obsessed with this. I just, I don't even know where to look. And it's not just big furniture. There's also, first off, a ton of light fixtures, lots of accents, like handle pulls, stuff that's just like really special that I always see on Anthropology's home website that is super discounted here. These light fixtures are stunning and so unique. And of course, the other thing we have to talk about is the Anthropology mirror, which I know all of you know about. So I already asked about the mirror and the Anthropology mirrors are already discounted here always. And they come in all different sizes from like vanity tabletop. This size is obviously not the biggest one that they do, but I'm gonna walk you over and show you the huge one. And that is an additional 40% off. Wow. The only thing to keep in mind is that all sales here are final. So you would have to come out here with a truck and just like pre-measure your house because you cannot return stuff. Tons and tons of wall sconces, more lamps. Okay, this is awesome. They even have bathroom vanities with sinks. This one's 50% off, which would make it, I don't know, like 400 bucks. And as someone who does home renovations all the time, I can say that is not a bad price. It's actually a really good price. Ooh, I like this one. <gasps> Oh, I really like this one. And then a little bit of a closer look at the amount of wallpaper options and tons of really cool wall art. Oh my gosh. They have this super viral anthropology arched cabinet. This is wild and this is obviously brand new. Y'all have probably seen this before. And oh my gosh, I didn't even look over here. This is so cool with the marble. I haven't even gone to this. Couches galore. Here it is, friends. The Anthropology Mirror. This one's gigantic. This one is currently 1100. I wish I had a place for this couch. It is so cute. 500 bucks for this armless sofa. And then this whole section that's just like hardware, switch covers that are super cool. I am truly blown away by how great this outlet is. I said it before and I'm just gonna say it again. I have been to almost every single major furniture company's outlet because we have a lot of them in LA. There is nothing this good at all. Everything is new, it's not picked over, it's not like 10 seasons ago. It's in great shape. Like you don't feel like you're looking at stuff people accidentally ordered and then returned like one piece of. It's all super current. I think I live here now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just got so excited because I realized I'm in Gilbert, which is like really far. But guess what's out here? Swig. Have y'all heard of Swig? It's like what all the Utah girlies and boysies are obsessed with. It's a place that has a drive through and quite literally all they sell is soda. Soda and then pretzel bites and I think cookies. It's like a sugar lover's paradise. And I realize it's only four miles away, which I realize is kind of far away, but relative to where I am in the world, I cannot come out here and not go there. 
there. I'm gonna make a quick little pit stop. There's the drive-thru. This place is literally always popping off. There's probably like at least 10 cars in front of me. And there's even a sales associate outside taking orders as if this is like in and out or something. Ah, I'm excited, thank you. I ended up getting something called the Founder, which is apparently Diet Coke, sugar-free coconut, lime, I think sugar-free lime, and then coconut cream, but I said no coconut cream because, you know, trying to be kind of healthy. Literally spilled this all over myself. This is why I cannot have nice things. Gosh darn it, better be worth it. This is so delicious. I feel like my face just froze up. This stuff slaps. Please, Swig, come to Los Angeles. I beg of you. Actually, honestly, if you come to Los Angeles, I'm probably gonna be so caffeined out. It's currently 12.15. We're leaving Arizona right now. We made our flight, I think barely. My brain is not working, as evidenced by the fact that I just got held at security. You wanna know why I'm convinced? Will you show them what's happening with my outfit right now? Backwards. I think we should do a pocket tease on the back. LOL, that was a huge fail. Literally, it looks like nothing. Last night we had so much fun sneaking into that holiday party, which I don't know if we were sneaking in because I think technically anyone was invited and Chris works in that building, sort of. After that, we walked a few blocks and went to the Apple headquarters to see Mark Wahlberg's new, it's not a Christmas movie, right? It's not a Christmas movie. It's not a Christmas movie, but it is definitely fun for the whole freaking family. I hadn't even watched the trailer yet, but my friend who works at Apple was like, you're gonna love it. It's super fun. And guess what it was also? How cute is this mug? I got this at the Dollar Tree. Big day today. I'm gonna go work out. I'm also finishing the vlog that is already up by the time you're watching this. And then I have not one, but two events to hit up later today. One is for some sort of like new Botox solution. And the other one is with my friends at Instagram. Are you allowed to talk about Instagram here on YouTube? I don't know. I'm going to another event right now. People are gonna be like, what did you do? Um, it's a good crowd. They'll all be like, I just got smart talk. So everyone will be really happy for me. Good morning, happy Saturday. Today is Saturday. We are like, there's a lot going on over here. We might be moving in one week. I haven't even really shared the details on that, but it's a real thing that might be happening. But for now, for today, for this very moment, I have to show you what I'm baking right now. The breakfast casserole that I'm baking. I've never done it before, but it's made with crescent rolls and you stuff them with like ham and cheese and all this stuff. Let me just show you what it looks like in the oven right now. It's not done cooking yet, but do we see this? Do we hear this? Each one of these is an individual crescent roll. Inside of them is ham, cheddar cheese, borson cheese, and then there's like an egg mixture on top. We, let's just cut a piece. You just take a bite. This is gonna be hot. Fresh out of the oven. Mmm. I like it because it's segmented off. Like if I want a little egg, I can do egg. If I want a little borson and ham, go straight for the center. Look how it's like baked into the crescent roll. Steamy borson with ham in the middle. Just stopped by my parents' house a few days before my mom's birthday because I got her the coolest gift. Actually, I have to give a shout out to Teddy Blake. They offered to send me a purse for my mom and she's never had a designer purse. So this is gonna be a big surprise for her. I have the box inside and she has no idea what's going on. Hey mom, I have something special for you. Do you know what this is? No, I have no idea. Well, I hope you like it. I hope you like it. Good things come in smaller, small -ish. Sort of small packages. Ooh. This is cute. It comes in a little sack. It's precious. Isn't it cute? Do you love it? Cross body strap. Yeah. You like a cross body. But also this whole little thing with just like the handles. This is so, this is just so in style. Look at how she stand up and let's see what you look like. Tell me. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, my purse. Look at my purse. Oh, 
Hello, we had the best weekend ever. So much food in my teeth right now. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that my mom's birthday for my family is basically like a national holiday. And my family is also obsessed with surprises. Like anyone who knows us is like, can y'all just like stop everything as a surprise? Like where we're going to dinner, what we're doing. Some of the surprises we've done for my mom's birthday in the past have been pretty over the top. One year we had my aunt take her. She thought she was going out to dinner. And then my aunt just took her to LAX, the airport and left her at the curb. And she had no idea that we had like packed bags for her and we were going on a trip. And she was like, what the hell is going on? This year, it was a little more subdued kind of. And wait, to backtrack for a second. So last year, I made this video about this where we surprised my mom by all wearing matching outfits. For my mom's birthday this year, we surprised her with matching outfits. Oh my gosh. Spoiler alert. She was upset. It went like super viral. I think it got like 50 million views. This year I was like, oh my gosh, we have to do something fun, but like, what are we gonna do? You know those shirts that people are making on TikTok where it's like surprising my boyfriend with a shirt with my face on it? We got those from my mom and we surprised her with them. Okay. <laughs> what do you think is going on? I don't know. You don't know? Any guesses? <laughs> okay, hold that thought. One, two, two three. Go ahead, mom. <laughs> And it was kind of amazing because she's like not really on the internet. So she didn't even know these shirts were a thing or that they existed. <laughs> it was so funny and so fun. But with that, I'm going to try to get a little bit better with my vlogging and I'm just gonna end it right here. Also some truly shocking things have happened. And when I say that, I know I say like kind of exaggerative stuff like that a lot, but I actually mean it this time. Something wild happened last week that is going to change the course of our lives forever. That sounds really dramatic and it honestly is really dramatic. I need to go focus on what's going on in my life right now. I probably honestly am going to have an emotional breakdown at some point, but I'm okay, but I'm okay, but I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> Anywho, again, remember how I said I was bad at ending vlogs? Now you see why. This vlog is over. I love you guys so much.